The Thunder Bay Arts Council is presenting a new exhibit from a local wood carver. I went over to the council's art gallery and spoke with R.S. Jarowski about his works and his life. I look at the wood to, to find the character, the action in the wood. Eleven years ago, artist R.S. Jarowski, better known as Rick, caught a case of cabin fever, and after taking a wood carving class in Austin, Inc., Michigan, he began a career creating art. To start, you, you have to see it in your mind, and you have to look at the wood, and if there's something in the wood that speaks to you that says, this has a possibility to be whatever, and you go from there. Artists are generally inspired by other artists. For Rick, personal inspiration came from a high school teacher named Donald Pangborn. He taught me that there are no boundaries to art. You know, too many people come into art class thinking art has to be a specific way, it has to fit in a frame. And uh, Mr. Pangborn taught me, take the boundaries away. Rick's pieces can be seen in galleries from Maine to Oregon, but his favorite piece? Uh, when I started carving again, it's, it's an owl, it's, it's behind us back here, and I made it for my wife for her birthday. And what advice does Rick have for aspiring artists? Try, try, keep trying. Uh, I've made many mistakes. Uh, my, my scrap pile was full of mistakes those first few years, but I kept trying. Rick Jarowski's wood carvings can be seen at the Thunder Bay Arts Council Gallery until March 5th. It's just, it's a beautiful piece to me. It's one of my faves. I really like this one. For Channel 11 News, I'm Casey Coffey. If you would like more information, you can contact the Thunder Bay Arts Council. Their phone number is 989-356-6678. The exhibit begins tomorrow, and you can meet the artists beginning at a reception at 5 o'clock. You can also check out the Arts Council at www.alpinatvarts.com.